The Bactrian Margian archaeological complex, also known as the Oxus civilization, thrived in Central Asia during the Bronze Age, approximately 23 to 17 centuries before the Common Era. It was centered in present-day Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan and Tajikistan with major sites such as the Gonur Tepe in Turkmenia and Bustan in Uzbekistan. Genetically, these people resembled modern inhabitants of southwest Pakistan. Gonur Tepe is the most significant BMAC site, often considered its capital. It had a vast palace complex, fire altars, and an extensive water management system, suggesting a highly organized urban settlement. BMAC was an advanced civilization with a highly organized society. Its people built walled cities with monumental architecture, including palaces, temples, and intricate irrigation systems that supported agriculture. The economy was based on farming, livestock, and trade with neighboring civilizations like the Indus Valley, Mesopotamia, and the Iranian Plateau. For this video, I gathered five high-quality BMAC samples. Three from Bustan in Uzbekistan and two from Gonur Tepe in Turkmenia. I ran them through my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis, which you can purchase from link in the description, and I used my Gvas health predictor tool to predict their predisposition to various illnesses. In terms of deeper admixture, the Bustan group descends mainly from West Eurasians, symbolized by the Upper Paleolithic Zuzuana cluster, with minor ancient North Eurasian admixture. Same can be said of the Gonur group, although you can see Gonur has slightly more ancient North Eurasian admixture. I also made Neolithic admixture models in QP admixture, modeling the Bustan group as over half Iranian Neolithic farmer with significant Anatolian ancestry. The Gonur group received a similar result although it was more heavily Iranian Neolithic farmer and had a lesser contribution from the other components, especially CHG or Cocodus hunter-gatherer. Now let's move on to their trait predictor and Gvas health predictor results. Let's start with I-5604 of the Bustan group. He is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, wavy hair texture and a Greek nose shape. He was a warrior had intermediate empathy levels, lower odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type AB. He had high odds of schizophrenia and skin cancer, and low odds of Alzheimer's disease and heart attack. He had average odds for other conditions. Now let's move on to I-11026 of the Bustan group. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, white to olive skin, curly hair, and a snub nose shape. She was a warrior, had lower empathy levels, lower odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, and blood type of either A or O. She had high odds for Parkinson's disease and low odds for anxiety, Alzheimer's, coronary artery disease, mental disorders, heart attack, and schizophrenia. She was very healthy. Now let's move on to I-11027 of the Bustan group. He is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, straight hair, and a Greek nose shape. He had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake, higher levels of empathy, lower odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type AB. He had high odds of ovarian cancer, Parkinson's disease, skin cancer, and stroke. He had low odds of coronary artery disease and schizophrenia. Now, let's move on to I-10410 of the Gonur group. She is predicted to have green eyes, dark blonde hair, white skin, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was a warrior, had intermediate empathy levels, higher odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, and most likely blood type A or O. She had high odds for anxiety, autism, multiple sclerosis, which is surprising as she isn't European, and even Parkinson's disease. She had low odds of Alzheimer's, asthma, coronary artery disease, heart attack, skin cancer, and stroke. Now let's move on to I-10411 of the Ganur group. He is predicted to have blue eyes with a neighbor center, 
light brown hair, white skin, straight hair, and a Greek nose shape. He had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake, intermediate empathy levels, lower odds of epithelial cancers, higher odds of autoimmune disease, higher odds of obesity, and most likely blood type B. He had high odds of for anxiety, autism, esophageal cancer, skin cancer, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. He had lower odds for heart attack. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and share. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from links in the description, as well as purchasing my services, which include QP admixture modeling, FST runs, and custom ethnicity calculators. Links to my products and services will be in the description.